What's up, what's up, it's a Spiracle, and welcome back to El Embrick of Wolfhammer's Castle. Uh, deluxe edition, I think. Um, so, I've been traveling this weekend. That is why there is, there were, that's why there was no video yesterday and two videos today. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but I'm going to be playing some Embrick of Wolfheimer's Castle and then maybe some Princess Remedy. So, um, thank you guys for your patience. I should have recorded ahead. I didn't. My bad. But yeah, let's, let's get into it. Let's click this. Load game. This one, I guess. Okay. Oh yeah, Wilhelm, okay. I should make use of my diary. Um... Dear Diary, I look forward to meeting her. Suppose she is the brains of the awesome fellowship, and that job must take her to a lot of places. Perhaps I should leave a note expressing my desire to meet her in a place she would easily find. Like her room. Can I, can I just walk into her room? That doesn't seem safe. How? <laughs> Up for a bath, your grace? In the wash bin? No, 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 no! No! <laughs> no, unless you want to! I do not, but thank you. A real bath would be quite nice, though. Certainly, Your Grace. I'll prepare one right as soon as I finish the wash here. The bathhouse is out back. Why don't I meet you out there? Out back? Right behind the keep, in fact. Next to the trees. Okay. Is that... Oh, okay. Out back. Why is it out back? Is this her room? Oh, Embrick's chamber. Oh, this is Hubby's room. Lord Embrick, what a firm, strong chest you have. What immense carrying capacity and fine brass locks. <laughs> well, that was amusing, but probably unhealthy. It's a good thing that no one is watching. <laughs> Lord Embrick's stuff? Underwear, swords, or both? I'm merely a reach away, but I should not open his cabinets. <laughs> Another box of magic swords. He certainly has a lot of them. They look heavy. Magic shoes of some kind. They are massive. I could probably fit both of my feet in one. <laughs> oh my, that was fun. <laughs> I love the Duchess. Lord Embrick's massive, massive bed. Goodness. I, Alice, and Lady Fallwithweer could probably all fit in there at once. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Oh, Looney. Oh, a journal of some kind. Should we open it? Let's leave it for now. Better not. It'd be pretty foolish to rifle through an adventurer's possessions. Though I do recall, after the awesome fellowship passed through, most towns reported a great many missing things. The linking element between all of the thefts is that all the stolen objects had been in treasure chests. This business of chamber bucket seems so pedestrian for a castle that is so otherwise well equipped. Um, old war stories. The bottle's barely been touched. This must be Lady Looney's tool bench. Unless one places a hammer upon things other than tool benches, in which case I have no idea what kind of desk this is. Maybe we should open it and leave her. Whoa, no. What I do? Oh fuck. Oh goodness, my head hurts. Damn it. Oh, blast it all, I've been kidnapped again! I was so close to a record setting streak! Welcome to the place I take people who mess with the awesome fellowship. Oh, Lady Looney, you must help! I have been. Wait, you brought me here? You opened my trap book. It set off the pocket bell. I came and got you, wiped the drool off your face, and brought you here. Oh. Ew. I apologize about that. Are you Embrix? Uh, oh, what was it, Chick? Oh yes, I am quite his Chick. What in bloody Acheron were you going do doing going through my stuff? Ah, uh, yes, about that. 
There's so many new and interesting things about the castle, I just couldn't help myself. Moreover, I had just come out of the library, and I'm such a creature of habit. I thought I re should return it to its shelf, but there was not a title or an author on the cover. So I thought if I opened it up, the title might be listed on the front page. Okay, stop. I get the weird feeling that you're actually telling me the truth. I have no reason to lie. There are always reasons to lie. But I hate lectures, so let me just lay this straight. You were in my room. That's bad. Don't mess with my stuff. I'll punish you if you do. I noticed there seems to be a dead person in here with me. He's only there to lend sincerity to my statements. They do come off as very sincere. Uh, pardon me, Lady Looney. I believe you forgot to let me out of this. Your place, you peep. Oh, you're right. My bad. Uh, yes, so if you could... Lady Looney! Lady Looney! Oh, dear. <laughs> I fucked right up. Your Grace! Dodges elsewhere. Alice! Alice! Your Grace! Are you unharmed? I am harmed! I'm ruined for marriage! <laughs> I do not know if Lord Embrick will still want a woman who has done hard time. Wait. Wait, hard time? Is that all? <laughs> it is hardly a laughing matter. My honor is a nonsense here. My lady exaggerates, but don't worry. Dungeon time can be confusing. It's only been a few minutes. It has? Yeah, Lady Looney came with me to the key to this with the key to the cell, and I ran here as fast as I could. Oh, thank Bazang, goddess of dis delightful surprises. So I'm not ruined for marriage? No, and if you value my health, please do not assume that phrase if you can avoid it. Let us egress, Your Grace. Class level four attained. Cool. All right. Um. A natural hot spring. Oh, I should take a dip. <laughs> oh, it's so delightful. I could go straight for that whirlpool right there. This is really so much more amazing than a regular bath. Imagine the salmon actually swimming up one of these. A mysterious underground lake. Hmm. I wonder if the castle gets its hot water from here. That would explain this world. I'd better not get my foot caught in it. Whoops! Whoa! Hey, are you okay? Uh, uh, what? No matter who you are, you shouldn't go playing in the pipes. It's really dangerous. Good to know. It's a pretty hot swimsuit, though. Thank you! Uh, yes, I'll be going now. Wow, I think I had a dream like this once. Are you gonna go through- Are you gonna throw gherkins at me? <laughs> that was not my intention, but I am a servant to the needs of my people. Uh, try to forget I say anything. <laughs> I will try, but I suspect that that request is easier said than done. Okay, let's, uh... Let's go get new clothes from Alice. Let us clean up and put on some dry clothes. Okay, there we go. The Duchess, the Lady Duchess of Elstwar are arriving. Hmm, good day, Your Grace. Good afternoon, Wilhelm. I have a, couple, I have a few questions about the castle, if you don't mind. Mm, of course, Your Grace. Far away, as they say. About my undergarments. Well, regrettably, the seamstress closed her shop some time ago, but her daughter had something of an obsession with undergarments. She and her younger sister sold the lot to the castle for the startup capital to run the inn in the courtyard. Oh my, such endeavor! Hmm, quite. Especially when one considers that the younger sister is the brains of the operation at the age of twelve. 
12. She must be quite the prodigy. Hmm, she can be quite confounding to speak to. Well, I suppose that explains why I have so much underwear and very little to put over it. Okay. The servants are all odd. Do you not think? Hmm, <laughs> quite. Well, most of the serving staff are hirees of the awesome fellowship for one reason or another. Miss Echinacea worked at a bathhouse that, that was a secret entrance into a castle of S Sogra League. Sogra League, the god that licks. <laughs> and was laid off when they collapsed the building to prevent Sogra League's entry into this world. Oh my goodness. She had been quite ignorant of the goings on there, of course, but her information turned out to be useful in uncovering the entrance. What about you, Sir Wilhelm? Hmm, quite. I was something of an adventurer myself in my youth. Were you a dashing knight? Goodness no, your grace. I was an epic poetry bard, recording the lives and deaths of over 50 adventurers. Oh my goodness! You can read all about it in my book, Rocks Fell and Everyone Died. <laughs> I believe the original is in the library. I shall have to look it up. Okay. Where do I bathe? I do believe that Miss Echinacea can run a bath for you. She's quite skilled. You can find her straight through the hole. Is there a good deal of skill used when drawing a bath? Mm, quite! It is more a matter of avoiding the potential missteps that can occur when drawing one. You see, natural water sources in temperate hills can be quite random in what one encounters inside them. Why, Lady Fowl once had to do battle with a dire... C colicanth. Will whilst enjoying an otherwise harmless bath. Goodness, I thought they were extinct. Mm -hmm, quite. Everyone but the Colacanth, it seemed. It proved quite difficult to convince, though. Okay. What am I to do here? Your Grace is free to do as she pleases, naturally. However, I might recommend introducing oneself to the awesome fellowship individually. It might do Your Grace some good to win them over since you are, in a matter of speaking, marrying into their number. Familiarizing yourself with the castle and surrounding environs would be a fine thing as well, though I advise some caution. One of the qualities that originally attracted Lord Embrick to these lands was how difficult they are to tame. He sounds so very brave. Quite. Okay. The Lady Duchess of Elsewhere departing. <laughs> okay. So, let's make the next... Hmm. I want to head into, like, the, the back and do the shower thing. Hmm. Maybe I need to go outside the castle and around? That's it's gonna be my guess. Let's, let's go outside and around. Oh wait, I already went back here. <laughs> oh no! Oh! Bloody ouch! Blast! Awful! Bad Bono! <laughs> Pardon me, I couldn't help overhear you there. Did you in fact say Bat Bono? I did! Please help me out of this well, kind elder. Of course, of course, but could you scoop a bit? <laughs> That precious substance whilst down there. I'm sorry, to which precious substance do you refer? The guano, my dear! It's worth its weight in copper coins to wizards and the like. More so, our own Lady Falwithweir does light up when we obtain her spell components for her. Lady Duchess? Y yes, well, I hate to ask such a question of such a kind elder, but is my rescue dependent on my compliance on this? I should get someone stronger to help you out of there. I have such brittle old man hips. Oh, please help. I have quite a bit stocked on my dress, as it turns out. Hopsy daisy. We'll have the sudden, the sergeant clothes laundered for you, Grace. Don't worry about the guano. I'll get it all off. 
I should get changed. I can hardly walk about the keep in my undergarments. Oh, here. <laughs> Looks like you're all ready to get wet! Circumstances being what they are, that is as reasonable assumption as any, I suppose. I'll go fire the old grill up. Bath time, and you should not bathe with your clothes on. Ah, it is a perfect temperature. What the fuck? How very relaxing. What? What the fuck? Splishy, splashy. Hmm. What? Ah. Now just a. Aha! What? Oh, there's a scream up there. Okay, so she's fucking the mermaid. Um, wow. You. Me? You are a terrible maid. Come on, then. Am I fired? So it followed you home? After as much as we shared, it's kind of hard to let go. I'm putting Echinacea in charge of her care and feeding. I should go check on her. You should definitely change first. Okay. So... So we fucked a mermaid. That's a thing. Have you considered a name for her, Your Grace? I'm still deciding. Does she know any tricks? Just molest. But she's really good at it. Work on don't molest and we'll consider it. Ah. Uh. Oh boy. Uh I am I am glad that uh the Duchess ended up being okay. Don't molest people, kids. That's fucked up. That seems to make her sad. Well, too fucking bad. As you can see, she's doing just fine, not causing any more trouble. Please don't fire me. Consider yourself on probation. I mean, you should know about, like, an enchanted mirror that has a... weird... fucked up mermaid in it. Ugh. Let's hope nothing else happens like that. Digby's vibrating lance. Choosing the right spell for your wand. <laughs> Goodness, it was actually kind of nice. Okay, so uh, she's she's into being electrocuted. Cool. Treaties on the construction of magical wands. Reassembling of magical devices. A common household guide. A codex for the translation of the other language. Oh, still too hard. Okay. back to where I was. Okay, cool. Let's go, like, hang out at the cafe. We didn't get to do that before. Why is this table broken? Oh my, it would seem that they play fairly rough around here. It's probably hard to get service out this far. Okay. Good afternoon, princess. Oh, begging your pardon. I'm not a princess. Rather, duchess is fine. 
Oops! <laughs> Please don't cut off my head. I will try to avoid that. Good afternoon, Your Grace. No one home? No one's allowed in there. There's some big bad mojo in that building. I forget what your voice was. Is it not a little odd to put a cafe in front of a restricted area? Well, that's a quirk of the owner's ship. Embrook wants to be near all the potential problems er problem areas within a round or two's movement. <laughs> a round or two? Got me. I'm just parroting Looney. A gather it means pretty quick. Anyhow, I'm supposed to stop anyone from going in there, so... Don't. I think you had, like, a... Nice to meet you, Duchess. Is there anything I can get you to make mo you more comfortable? Not at the moment, but thank you so much. Everyone here is so very nice. My pleasure. Look out for the broken table, by the by. Hmm. Garçon! Can I take your order? Whatever the local specialty is, I suppose. Whatever you desire, Duchess. Oh, goodly! One potion of cure moderate wounds at Milady's behest? How curious! I obtained local specialty. It does smell of medicinal. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So I've met Fall with Weir. Ambrick is out doing something. I've met Looney. Where is the dwarf, I wonder? Um, I don't think we got this before. It's a, it's a combination fountain and brewery, Your Grace. The good dwarf oper- Oh, the good dwarf. The good dwarf operates it more or less by himself. I'm afraid I do not know much about any of those things that you just mentioned. Foundries, breweries, or dwarves? Good heavens. All that is a dwarf. How surprising. Having only seen them in pictures, I would have guessed them to be more- Well, less like short men. More or less. They run foundries where metal is prepared for smithing. As for brewing, he also makes dwarven drinks. Up. It seems a bit musty for a winery. The wine you're used to is probably little more than fruit juice compared to what he's making. Well, they are a bit similar. A lot of places water it down enough to where you can't even get a buzz. I do not believe I've ever had wine that buzzed. Though I had a bottle of wine on the way here that rather left me a little disoriented. I think it had gone bad. Oh... I see. <laughs> Wait. Your Grace, have you never drank before? Nonsense, I drink all the time. Why, just this morning I had a bracing cup of tea and a glass of pica juice. As your personal servant, I feel it is my duty to correct the situation. Come with me. Where are you taking me? The tavern! Come on! I'm coming. Oh, that's the tavern. Hot damn. Just wait a good time. <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> the Flying Guardsman. It's hard to really get any action in a keep like this. He totally means fighting in monsters. I can only assume that the guards are speaking sign language, and I really like that. Don't worry, I speak the same language as the guards. The guy across the table from me wants to salute you, but he's cross-eyed. Welcome, your grace, to our humble establishment. Whatever you'd like is on the house. Okay. Okay. This looks like the ideal place to coach you gently into the exciting world of mature revelry. Hmm, there's a lot to choose from. Why don't you ask the barkeep for his advice? 
I thought you were the expert. Oh, trust me, you don't want my poison of choice. I got hooked on this harpy brood thing called Cryac that would probably hurt you if you don't have a tolerance for it. Sounds ghastly. And it tastes like yogurt sock. <laughs> the house recommends Chateau Elysium. CR 14. Mm, let me ask Alice. Oh, wait. Okay. Well, that sounds fun. Excellent, Your Grace. I shall pour you a shet. Oh, this is very nice. It's a bit like tangy grape juice and plums and fuzzy. Yeah, elves really know their stuff when it comes to the grape. I hear this stuff actually makes you live longer. Then let us have more and live forever. That's the spirit. Oh, hi, Fall with Weir. Oh, good evening, Lady Fall. Duchess elsewhere. Are you drunk? Nice table. Kinda dark and emu. <laughs> emu. Lystra's bow. You're going to make a scene tonight, and I can't decide if I want to witness it or not. It is the Duchess's privilege to make any gathering into a social event. I'm in. That sounds like Elysium CR 1316. Alice. <laughs> Hello there, Lady Faldi with her. Thank you for gracing our table this evening. <laughs> My pleasure, also. Um. You're in for a treat, Your Grace. Ready for the next round? I was born. <laughs> I was already born. What? I didn't know you went in for this kind of thing. I intend to do it freshly and fashionably. I was born ready. <laughs> Here we go. Lemony Platinum Drops. Oh, boy. Hey, fat. No. Shh. You are drunk. I ask questions now. What the heck did you do to end up engaged to Embrick anyhow? Sorry, what? You, the Duchess of Elsewhere, are engaged to Embrick of Wolfhammer, Slayer of Lots and Looter of Moor. How? Why? Oh, that! I am engaged to him. Yes, I'm aware. The question is why are you engaged to him? It's not like your uncle promised his niece at that time Countess of Lulwatshire at that time <laughs> to whomsoever dethroned him, after all. Hey, you and my dear saucy elven vixen are making a crucial mispronunciation. It's not Lulwatshire, it's Lulwatshire, a title I still hold, thank you very much. Okay, fine, I'll try one more time. Why are you getting hitched to M- Does your butt still say skank across it? Oh, sweet Mork, say what? You look like you're enjoying yourself. I am, but I have- I have an important question. How many fingers am I holding up? You don't know? I can't tell, and it's really bothering me. I'm gonna shoot for... Three? Five? Thirty-five fingers?! Don't panic, I'm a trained maid. I will break your extra fingers off! Oh, fuck! Yeah, we stop- Almost got him. <laughs> I'm gonna need another potion of cure moderate wounds. Wow, you took that like a champ. I'll just heal you. <laughs> For your gracious pleasure, I have prepared a desert porto. I wanna play with false feather. You can't. It's enchanted. It will kill everyone in the room. You're a witness. I warned her. Perhaps she isn't such a wise idea, your grace. Can't decide. Feather death 
or Porto Natas. And the Porto and the Sarmo, drinking is great. Why doesn't everybody drink all the time? <laughs> wow. You're a great dancer, Dutchie! Yes, but I'm tired of this dance. It is classless. I would like to dance a min... 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 minuet. A classy dance. But it is so hard to catch my breath. Alice, would you... <laughs> help me with my boo... boo stay? Fall. You're going nothing to do with this, with that, I assume. Oops, looks like the cavalry's here. I didn't protect her, but it's not like I came to do that. So this mess and... Was all... Was all that mess and... Mm, drinking place about then? I don't know what... A uh, what? Are you talking to me? <laughs> in the language of slushins. Well, that's my cue to leave. Wait, what's he say? <laughs> and that's another thing. Drinking's not something you just get to say well life. It's the way of life. Just be responsible with your charges like that, Alice. So you can- A first person's first drinking experience is sacred. Improper pacing can lead to the misspent youth, hangovers, and sobriety. <laughs> Are you okay, Missy? You have a nice face. Hmm, <laughs> Alice? Ah, good morning, Your Grace. How are you feeling? Terrible. I think I want to sleep until around mid-afternoon. Technically speaking, you did. Good morning was really more of a courtesy than a fact. I do not remember a lot of what happened. I got severely crumped on by the good dwarf and lectured on my lack of character. Ouch. Also, why does my hand hurt? I'm afraid I don't know, Your Grace. <laughs> mm, well, whatever the case, I should find the good dwarf and thank him for looking out for me. It, I'm glad you had a good time, but that really, like, the dwarf is right. That was really not the first, like, drinking experience to have. It's really not. You gotta pace yourself. Drink responsibly, kids. Also, it still really bothers me that they included a scene about molestation. And just kind of brush it off. So, don't molest people either. <laughs> Merciful goddess, the floor is lava. For real this time. Some kind of steam doohickey. It kind of looks like complicated. Also hot. Okay, can I not? I should rather prefer not to climb down into what appears to be lava. Why is this here, anyway? Hmm. And there's no... There's no way out, it looks like. Do you know where the dwarf is? Good, um... Afternoon? Kick your ass, yeah, that's it. Good afternoon, Your Grace. Good afternoon, Miss Eve. Yes, and good to meet you, Eve. Are this are you this castle's steam maker steam keeper? I am indeed. I keep the hot in this castle coming. Well, I'm most certainly not cold, so excellent job thus far. Leave it to me. 
Good job, Eve. So where the fuck did he go? There's some built-up paint that gives me the impression that there were a lot of corrections made to the painting. Hmm. So where'd he go? atmosphere of this place. Oh no, that's not any good. It's great to be here! I suppose I should stop lest I be disliked. <laughs> For climbable ivy, see the field in back. It's much stronger. Now they tell me. sworn that Echinacea was inside like five minutes ago. I discovered one fashionable gown. Outstanding. It probably fits. Barrel. <laughs> Fags. Jug containing rainwater. I wonder why it is that keeps. Oh, I wonder why it is that keeps owned by male lords always prefer large jugs over smaller ones. Small jugs are so convenient and they do not hurt to carry around. <laughs> boob joke. <laughs> Small boobs sure are convenient. Much easier to find. This has been Eli's trans take. Oh, you can go this way. Okay, well I can I can get out now. Okay, so check out the the um the ivy in back. You can climb that. All right, we'll do. assume they mean back here. This looks climb- Ooh! Secrets! Crystal mine? Little crystals guarding a big crystal. Either that or they are backing up- or they are backing away from a crystal-eating mollusk. It is important to understand that the correct path isn't always the obvious one. This is where, um, this is where Looney's little, uh, jail thing is. I've got my hands on a brand new designer ring. Ooh, look how it sparkles. Awfully small thing to put in such a large box. Is there anything else in here? I suppose not. It makes a kind of sense that there are crystals back here, but crystals have to be processed and cut before they can be mounted. Perhaps it is a message to cut out the middleman, or never reveal your sources. I've never been very good at interpretation. Which is just as well. You cannot inherit the throne if you develop magical powers. It's against the law. I'd make a lousy seer anyhow. Woo! Tangent! A magical crystal of some kind, hovering in midair like it was easy, and spinning, so full of itself. Okay, so what's going on over here? An impossibly heavy stone. Powder stores, maybe? Nope, just a lot of beef jerky. So what's this? 
All right. <laughs> I am taking the interpretation that every single, um, every single guard is at least mute, if not deaf mute. And... <laughs> oh. Is that a person? I need to explore the town more thoroughly. There's so much in this game. <laughs> All's quiet on the western front, man. Imposter! Oops, er... I should let you go this time, but you'd better shape up. <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> that guard is so worried. Ah. Uh, what? What the fuck? I have gathered you all here today because I have come to understand that you have been conspiring against me. Oh no! It didn't work! We're gonna be executed! <laughs> Hold! I am not going to execute you. Oh no! Exile! <laughs> my children! My collection of resaleable monster parts! I am not going to exile you either. Oh no! Capital! Silence! Goodness, it would seem that I have begun on the wrong foot with you people. I am neither a witch nor a tyrant. I'm not even very despotic. Really a person born of a higher social strata than you. What if one of us is a king in exile? None of you are. Stu told me he was a king in exile. He is not telling the truth. But, eh, well, she's right. I'm not really in exile. I just said that so you- You beast! Ouch! <laughs> yes, well, as I stated, there is no need to fear me. You don't execute peasants for fun? You don't bathe in blood? You don't decorate your dwelling in skulls? Have you ever done a single chore? Well, I can clear up the skulls and slaughter business right away at least. I decorate my room in decadent curtains, large mirrors, my luxurious bed, silks from exotic location, my and silks from exotic locations, and my love poetry to Lord Embrick. And for sport, no peasant execution could be exciting as a wool an owl owl bear baiting? Oh man, that's true. Yeah, it does rock! I don't think my head flying 40 feet off my body while singing the blues would be as exciting as owlbear baiting. I would prefer not to think about that. But what about the other two? Um, well, I have not done either, really. And bathing in blood doesn't sound very nice at all. But I could do a chore. It's certainly not impossible. After all, you all, you all do it. Them chores. Sue, get the cow. We're not gonna watch her bathe. <laughs> that comes after. It doesn't make sense to. Carol, you're so brilliant. That's a. <laughs> right? What? <laughs> so, this is. <laughs> An almost scary animal. The cow. It certainly is. It is a cow. How does one uh, make chore upon a cow? <laughs> One milks a cow, your grace, and to milk a cow you use your hands to squeeze milk from its udder. Is it a complex process? It's a very natural thing to do, your grace. Grab, squeeze, let up, repeat. That does sound natural. I suppose I should give it a go then. I hope this will satisfy you. Well, here goes. Satisfied. You did great, your grace. Sorry about the cow. Turns out she'd already been milked three times today. Guess she got a little upset. Is there a limit to the number of times you can do that? But in any case, we know you're not a terrible person. We'll treat you like the nice lady you are. Yeah, three cheers for the Duchess. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Oh my, this this is the warmest welcome I've ever received. Thank you all so very much. I shall be a wonderful lord and overseer to all of your toils. Huzzah! Yay! Yay, Duchess! Group hug! No, wait. No, wait. No. And then they stole your clothes. 
They said they would wash them and return them, and I got caught up in the moment. Well, I just brought a fresh set. Lucky, huh? Diplomatic liaison is available for use. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that was something. I want to check out the, the weird gray person in the corner before I call it. What is this? A statue of Jorain, or so it says. Why is it thrown away? It says her lo It has her domains are love, lush scenery, strawberries, and chocolate. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. I like to think of myself as a lady well-versed in the ways of the gods and goddesses of the realm. I wonder why I've never heard of her before now. Hmm. Oh, wait, what's this? Please do not casually discard magical artifacts. The management. H Hello there, I'm the Duchess of Elstware. <laughs> okay, sorry. Guard barracks. Alright. Seems to be washing his face in the guard trough. Combination feeding and bathing facility. see why they were mad at me then. Why are there buckets all over the place? Good old box of swords. Quite a few of these around. Okay, I guess I'll go up to the barrel. It's a jug that contains rainwater. I hope nothing else is in there. Okay. Let's, let's stop in the pretty garden. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Um... Some some troubling things in this episode. I think I'll put a trigger warning in the comments just to make sure. Um, I don't want to be like I don't want to worry too much, but some of that stuff would have probably triggered me a little bit. So um, I'm trying to be safe. So, but I mean overall, this game is still lots of fun. I'll still continue to play it. Hopefully, they don't pull out more. Um, concerning anime tropes like that um, and the rest of it. I do wonder what the canonical lesbian relationship is supposed to be and I really hope it's not supposed to be with the mermaid because that doesn't count. She got molested. Um, and molestation is not a relationship. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and for checking me out. I'm going to leave the link to this game and the developer information in the description. And I hope you have a great week. Later.